I tallied up all the credit card points that I earned over the last year, and I discovered I was getting points for perks that I didn't know existed. I decided to read through the fine print on all the top credit cards to see just how many bonuses are out there hiding in plain sight. I was able to find 12 pretty ridiculous, pretty unique bonuses. Let's start with the perks that I was benefiting from on my favorite credit card at the moment, the Venture X. My wife and I, we traveled a lot more than we normally do last year. We took lots of flights, and so we got lots of points. I think we ended up getting over $4,000 worth of points in the last year. So naturally, I was going through these to see where they were coming from. And on our flights, I realized we were getting these credits that I didn't know the origin. $20 here, $25 here, $50 here. I couldn't figure out what it was. It wasn't the usual five points per dollar spent. Anyway, I had to go to the fine print and on VentureX's website, I found that they have a price protection feature on their credit card. When I book flights through their portal, if the price drops any amount in the next 10 days, I get a credit for that lowest price. And then on top of that, there's another feature that I could have been using that I didn't know about. One of the major complaints with using these travel portals People say that, oh, you know, yeah, you get more points off the portal, but they jack the prices up a little bit. With price matching, this completely mitigates that concern. If I go directly to the airline's website and find a better price, I can send them an email within 24 hours and they will match the price. The next four bonuses all come from American Express. Specifically, I'm looking at the American Express gold card. And when you go to the fine print on their benefits and terms page, it is like reading a novel. And there are so many perks on here. You've got $100 right here. There's $120, another $120, $84. Just in the first four paragraphs, I'm seeing over $400 in bonuses. The second ridiculous bonus on my list of 12 is the Dunkin' Donuts credit. This is Dunkin' Donuts for life but you only get to go once per month and spend $7 each time you go. I actually just went this morning and I was able to get two donuts and a cup of coffee for under seven bucks. I feel like it should be more than $7. I mean, going once a month for just $7, it's, you know, it's a little bit gimmicky, but it, hey, it's something. The second interesting perk on American Express Gold Card is the $100 Resi credit. Resi is a website where you make restaurant reservations in the US. The way this credit works is as long as you go to a restaurant that's in the Resi system, and presumably you have to make a reservation on Resi, then you get $100 in credits every year. They divide it up by six months. So you get $50 in the first six months, $50 in the second six months. You can go to a pretty good restaurant and get a pretty nice meal for 50 bucks or maybe a cheaper date night, 25 bucks each. That's not a bad perk. And then the next perk that jumps out at me is the $120 Uber cash credit. You get $10 every month towards Uber or Uber Eats. I'm personally not a big Uber Eats user because it's just such an expensive way to eat. But if you really like to have food delivered to your house every now and then, getting 10 bucks off once a month, every month, not bad. The fifth bonus and the last one that I'm looking at for American Express Gold, you actually have to scroll all the way to the bottom to find the Hotel Collection Program benefit credit. You get $100 towards your hotel stay if you're staying at least two nights. You also have to go to one of the hotels that are a part of this program, which there are a lot. But if you stay for two nights or more, you get $100 that you can spend towards room upgrades, food, drinks at the bar, at the hotel, or spa and every time you go. Moving on to the sixth credit card bonus, this one applies to all Bank of America credit cards. It doesn't even show this perk when you look at each individual card. I actually just heard about this perk and had to Google it specifically in order to find it. If you have a Bank of America credit card, you get free access to museums, specifically during the first full weekend of every month, it also applies to Merrill or Bank of America private bank credit and debit holders. But that's a really interesting perk, something that I've never seen before. Free admission to museums. If you're into that, then that could be a really good credit card for you. The seventh and eighth unique credit card bonus comes from the Built Card by Wells Fargo. This is the only credit card that I've ever seen that allows you to get points for your rent payment. Usually, whenever you use a credit card to pay for your rent, you get hit with a 3% service charge, which obliterates any benefit that you get from points in the vast majority of cases. But with the built credit card, they will refund you for the service charge. So you're able to get 1% cash back on your rent payments. 
So let's say you have $2,000 rent, that's $24,000 over the year, that would be $240 in points. That's not bad. That's $240 that you wouldn't get with any other credit card. The eighth interesting credit card perk, the second one that I wanted to look at with Built is the first day of the month bonus. So whatever purchases you make on the first day of the month, they will double your points. Unfortunately, this does not count for the rent payment. You know, that would be nice. But all other points that you get on the first day of the month get doubled. So if you have some reoccurring things to take advantage of, like utilities, phone bill, maybe streaming payments, if you can get those to land on the first day of the month, that's a pretty good perk. Also, you get three times points on dining. If you go out to eat at an expensive restaurant on the first day of the month, that ups you to six points per dollar spent on dining. Real quick, if you're enjoying the video, please do me this one small favor and hit the like button. It makes a big difference for my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I'll continue to do my part and make better and better content. Back to the video. Next up, the ninth perk is another American Express card. It is the blue cash every day and you get $180 per year for the Home Chef credit. This breaks down to $15 a month. Home Chef is one of those meal prepping services where they'll send you pre-prepped, pre-packaged food every day, week, or month, however you set it up. This isn't something that my wife and I use. We like to do our own shopping for food, but I know that a lot of people like to do that. It's very convenient. And the one downside is it tends to be pretty expensive. So getting $15 off every month might make it a little bit more reasonable. The 10th credit card bonus is by the You Promise credit card from Barclays. This card gives you points on buying gift cards. I've never seen that before. Normally gift cards are strictly prohibited to give you points. Now they do cap it at 25, or sorry, $250 worth of points on gift cards. When I go to the website, My Gift Cards Plus, this is where you have to buy the gift cards to get the bonus. The best rate or conversion that I see is you can get a $10 cashback reward bonus on purchases between $50 and $150. So if I just buy the $50 gift card and I'm getting $10 in bonus, that's a conversion of 20%. I've never seen a credit card that gives you 20 points per dollar spent. Like that is insane. So if I bought 25 $50 gift cards, that's a lot of birthdays and Christmases, then I would get $250 in bonus. But if you're into that, then this could be a really effective niche credit card bonus. For the 11th and 12th bonus, I'm looking at the Chase Sapphire Reserve credit card. This one has tons of perks, but if you scroll down, there is a two year complimentary Lyft Pink Access membership. Lyft Pink costs you normally $10 per month. So if you like Lyft Pink, if you're going to use it anyway, then that's $120 in value right there. And Lyft Pink gives you 5% off standard and XL rides. So if you're using a lot of Lyft, then this gives you essentially an extra 5% off on all purchases. And that's in addition to the points that you already get through Chase Sapphire Reserve. The 12 bonus is DoorDash. You get tons of credits and benefits from DoorDash, starting with the Dash Pass. Dash Pass is also $9.99 per month, and this gives you $0 delivery fee on all DoorDash purchases, which is 10 to 15% of the cost of DoorDash. You also get $5 monthly DoorDash, and then additionally, you get $10 off two orders per month on DoorDash non-restaurant orders. So when you have those specialty DoorDash restaurants that are not having a physical location, you can only get them through DoorDash. All these bonuses were pretty unique. Some of them were pretty wacky, but they're not even the main benefit that you get from using most of these credit cards. I myself got $4,150 in value over the last year from my top credit card. Figuring out how much you can actually get can be pretty difficult, which is why I made a spreadsheet which tallies all the bonuses, all of the points per dollar spent, all in one spot for over 40 credit cards. Check out this video if you wanna see how I put in my spending to get the exact benefit that I know I'll get so I can determine the top credit card. Check it out, catch you on the flip side.